Okay, today we're back in the Madvent calendar for day seven. Let's see what we've got. Hot what well, I cannot even begin to pronounce this one. Um whew, I'm not even gonna try. Uh if you know how to say that, go for it. This is by Ryan Rauch did the music. Oh no, this is by Zick. Ryan Rauch did the music. And then there's some music and sounds. Uh credits here. So we're going to jump on in and see what this one is about. Uh, all right, let's go. Okay, here we are. This game has an epilepsy and volume warning. Um, I've turned down the volume quite a bit, so I think that should be okay. That being said, if you're prone to epilepsy or anything or... Like this says, should you experience any discomfort or signs of seizures, stop playing immediately or stop watching immediately and consult the doctor. Play at your own risk. So with that warning out of the way, I'm going to proceed gently and see what this one is all about. Oh dear, consider utilizing the following instruments. Enter, engagement, controller, uh, W, it looks like it's WASD and enter. So, okay. Oh, hi. We got a little box man here. Hey, buddy. Oh, I am the little box man. Okay, so I can move the camera with the arrow keys. And I can skip along with the WASD keys. All right. Here we go. Instead of building. An entertainment game by Zik at year MMX. That's some uh, Nordic runes. Hello, Christopher Malliard. Oh, hey there. Looks like this is the first time you're visiting here. Welcome to the shelter. A number of people have been gathering in this building since the incident has happened. Just feel free to look around and enjoy your stay, although this place has seen any better days. By the way, let me introduce myself. My name's Malliard. Christopher Malliard. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you too, Chris. Um, hello. A rat tree. I don't know. Hello, hello, very nice to meet you. My name is whatever that says. I'm always really excited to meet a new person. I don't know how I did I come here, but I think everyone here is very good. Oh, well, that's, that's good. Hey, what about you, buddy? Uh, gr it's a, is that a cat? Greetings, sire. The weather is quite cold today, but it's an almighty fine day nonetheless. But you, sir, like anybody else here, have quite an interesting and strange attire that I've never seen before. Um, is he calling me sire like I'm a king, or is... That's supposed to be sir like the second time. I don't know. And this whole big construction also looks eerily otherworldly for me, too. I have not ever seen a construction this big with such unique style in my town, or in my life even. Everything here is so otherworldly. How come I stumbled upon this place? Have I finally ha have I finally has gone dead and reached the afterlife? All I want to do is to go out and get back to my hometown. My family and my boss needs me badly, but when I attempted to venture out, I had no avail. That man with a slightly strange outfit and way of talking told me that it's too dangerous outside. This is quite ridiculous, I say. Going out in the winter is just as dangerous as walking on the ice, you know. Unless there exists some other mysterious something that I do not know that is. If you know anybody that can help me to get back to my hometown, please let me know. Uh, okay. I'll let you know. That's a long-winded kitty cat. It's going down here. Please don't talk as much. Sup, you're here for the field trip too, aren't you? Damn, I'm glad to meet you. My name is Julius, and I'm here to engage in a mouth-watering housewarming party. Looking forward to becoming oscillators with you. And I'm looking forward to being an oscillator with you as well. That sounds fantastic. What's with this door spazzing out over here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I love the way this guy animates the walking. This is great. Um, so this. Hello. Uh, that is Korean, which I cannot read. Um, doggo? Mano. Box person. Kitty cat in the background? Oh, there's an animation. Okay. I do not know what to make of that. Oh, he's back. It's, it's Parappa the Rappa. Catalyst, the work has begun. Completion of three metamorphoses will complete the work. Who are you? What are you talking about? Oh, okay, I guess that's over. Um, let's skip on down to... What is this? 
This is new. Can I do anything with this? Should I fall in this hole? Can I? Oh, I can't fall in this. Okay. Well, let's leave this room. Um, there was more people to talk to in the lobby. Oh? I talked to you already. What about you back here? What are you doing? Is this a computer chip? No, it's a magazine? Hello. Isabella Malliard. Hi, I'm Isabella Malliard and welcome to the shelter. I manage all the supplies and stuffs we use in this place. It's hard and frankly exhausting to do all the management alone, but if nobody is going to do it, I gotta bite the damn bullet. I like the uh, pose uh, she's doing there. It reminds me of playing some jet grind radio back in the day. Good stuff. What's this? Tint 48. More Korean letters. 1997. Number 266. There exists a magazine inside of your vision. Take a gander at it? Yeah, I'll take a gander. Tint 48. The best magazine a tech-loving man could ever ask for. Issue number 266. Searching for higher definition. Featuring this month's guest, Zach Dial Sun, January 55th, 3071. Wow, it's many years in the future. Right in the middle of the vast open forest of the old England, a lonely building stands still and sturdy. From the outside, it may seem like a typical boring building. But in the inside, one man full of passion is cooking up one of the most exciting and unique projects in the world. Meet Zach, hobbyist inventor, computer graphics and science enthusiast, jack of all trades. When I was a kid, I was very fascinated by how we can just write some codes and make something beautiful appear and disappear on our screen. Ah yes, hello world. Completely under our control. Since then, I always have been wanting to do the same thing on our reality. Inspired by his childhood fascination, Zach has been working on his new project to make his dream come true. I'm currently working on a substance that once applied to anything, it will change its visual property so that it will upgrade its details and fidelity. Just like how we can upgrade our game's graphics by applying more advanced code. Um, right. So you want to apply graphic overhauls to people? Um, okay. What's this? A mangled newspaper. Everything but the top part were ripped off. The rest of the newspaper reads, The, 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 the Times, the Old England. Friday, January, negative two big-ass number, $3,096.48. Illegal kneecaps activity caught. Discoloration deluxe. Uh, I hate when my kneecaps are up to illegal activity. That is the worst. Oh, God, I have to read more. There exists a surprisingly normal newspaper inside of your vision. Take a gander at it. The, 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 the Times of Old England. Is this the same? Oh, no. Strange explosion. Yesterday, more than three casualties and estimated ten major injuries occurred. It was the result of a peculiar and strange-looking explosion originated from a seemingly abandoned building. According to the many witnesses on the site, the explosion had an indescribable look to it. Quoting one of the witnesses, as if they did not belong to this world. The explosion's strange visuals may be caused by a side effect of igniting chemicals, which is also the main suspect for the explosion, according to the investigators. The investigator says they are still analyzing the chemicals found at the explosion site, and the chemical is highly anomalous. They also suggest that the residents near the explosion site should evacuate to nearest temporary refuge shelter to eliminate any risks of con chemical contamination. So are we upgrading the world's graphics to include some explosions? Um, that doesn't seem very much like a nice thing to do. Before I go through that door, let's see if there's anything back here behind Mr. Kitty Cat. Um, looks like there's actually another door. So, well, I'm closer to this door, so that's the door we're going through. Okay. I'm upstairs? I think I'm upstairs. What's up with you? You look like you're having a spasm. How's it hanging? Name Jane Mern. Ask his just letters. Hello. Oh, something's happening. Oh, look at the little spaceship face. That's kind of cool. Look at this spasm out. Wait, is that supposed to be me? Oh, I guess it is. I look like a doggo. People keep pointing in my brain, doing a little, little finger gun there. Okay, fair enough. There's anything else in this direction? Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like we're heading back to that other door. So back down to the lobby, and we'll see what there is to be seen. Possibly more finger guns. <laughs> it's 
fun to look at him from the side too, the way he's just so so enthusiastically skip walking. Um Okay. Back here we want this way, I think. Did they put a rug on the floor and on the wall? Why would you put a rug on your wall? I guess some people put rugs on their walls. I am not partial to the rug on the wall, but I do like the wallpaper in here. Um and the checkered floors. Uh, what was that? Hello? A lot of funky noises. Okay. I like it. I dig it. Sounds like an Atari. I know I want to play some Atari games, actually. Uh, let's try this door. The Atari noises are getting quieter. What's in here? Another magazine. Here we go. A mangled newspaper. Everything but the top part were ripped off. The rest of the newspaper reads the, 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 the Times of Old England. Friday, January, negative 8, 3077. Same price. Mysterious snow-like substances falling down from the sky. Contains traces of unknown substances. Is that it? That's the whole story. That was blissfully short. Um, a little desk here. Another magazine. Oh, a suspiciously, oh gosh, a suspiciously normal looking diary. There's several sections divided by pieces of colorful plastic. Log 1, Zach's project. Now that I've finished my latest project, I want to try a new thing. I think I want to do something chemically this time, I guess. Oh yeah, it would be very fun if I would make something that's inspired by my childhood memory. I was quite fascinated in how I could just write some code and make beautiful stuffs with it. So I'll try and see if I can make some sort of substance that I can simply apply on something and increase its graphics fidelity at my will. It'll be hella fun. But since I'm not that much of an expert on chemistry, I'll have to start simple to learn it. Time to make a bunch of... Elephant toothpaste and emitting volcano deluxe for exercise. Trademarked. Uh, I'm hyped. Well, I'm glad they're still using the term hella in the years 3000 some odd. Uh, oh, it's a disappointed note. Look how sad it looks. So we're on log two. Uh, made a huge progress on learning chemistry in the last few years. I'm always surprised at how fast I am learning something so fast every time I learn new things. Anywho, now that I do believe that I have enough knowledge to begin working on the project, I've written down the required chemicals and a bunch of theories that can help to achieve my desired effect, apparently causing us all have to go in a bunker by writing down chemicals? So far, everything is going quite well than I expected. I hope the rest of the project will go as well as it is now. Log 3. God damn it, I feel like I'm an idiot sandwich. I was able to get the most of the desired effects, but I couldn't get that one thing right being able to control the quality at my will. None of the theories I wrote works properly, and now I am just trying out every single combination of chemicals out of desperation. I think I'll take a brief break on everything. I've been working on this project non-stop for years, and I've had it enough. This has been quite taxing on me, both physically and mentally. I could use a little break. On the other topic, someone over the tech magazine has contacted me for an interview. It's a bit inappropriate moment to take an interview since I'm planning to take a break from all projects, but this might be a great opportunity to find somebody that can help me on my projects nonetheless. Oh, log four. Damn, I hadn't written a single progress report for years again. I probably should train myself to write down the logs more frequently, but anyway, after the magazine has published, I had some good news on the project. Someone who claimed that they're from a private biochemical engineering lab and are the professional chemistry scientist actually approached me in person to help and invest in my project. At first, I actually tried to deny their offer, thinking that it was some sort of scam. But surprisingly, they just went ahead and added some weird-looking material in my failed batch of substances and demonstrated that they can debug my project if I cut the deal. And they really did fix my project. And it was one of the most unusual things that ever happened in my life. I mean, what kind of sane professional chemistrist chemistrist person just casually breaks into somebody's private lab to add some suspicious looking substance in a random failed batch and fix it right but anyway even though they seemed very suspicious i had no other option so now i'm now working under them and been continuing to work on my project since i've got the biggest problem solved did i do log five yet no Weird things has been happening to me as of recently. Not sure if it's caused by my continuous exposure to the substance, though. One of those things includes me feeling unrealistically energized all the time, which is great, by the way. I've been dependent on all those energy drinks and coffee, but now I don't have buy them anymore. Thanks to that. Haha, <laughs> yes, but at the same time, I always begin hearing weird noises and seeing my body in a different way. Every night, I dream of seeing my body looking more and more realistic, day by day to the point I become the reality itself, and when I wake up, 
I have even more desperation to make that dream come true and possess such power than before. At one point, I also began editing an image of my face on a realistically rendered image of body to partially fulfill my desires. But it's not enough. I need a real stuff. I want it. LO6, the pro project. Good. Status. Record more human objects for Tessess. I plan. Utilize explosions to emit batch and generate new subjects. Postmortem. Please commit defragmentation on my femur bones. Please, please, and the whole next page is covered in a strange looking liquid and is looking in a way that you can't really describe. Perhaps it's the aforementioned substance. Better be careful. I can't wait. My body as of now is merely a buffer. A buffer for a better form. For the future, the I can taste the success. I'm almost the... Yeah, he's going to become the little goo creature from I have no mouth and must scream. And he's going to have no mouth and need to scream. Um, or just spaz with letters and then go. Okay, well that was involved. But I think that was most of the story of the guy who got the substance made. And then started making another substance. And it started turning his body realistic. And then he became some other uh, amalgamation of uh proper realistic rendering and hellscape. So let's see what's down here. I'm not sure if there's anywhere else I can go, but hello friend. Hi, how you doing? Is this what happened? Um, more Korean, a bunch of random letters, node graph out of date, rebuilding. Oh dear. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> look at him. Look at him go. It's like a little helicopter. Is he going to finger gun me? He's going to finger gun me. Oh dear. Here it goes. Yep. I knew it. Oh, now somebody's melting. And into pancakes? There's some tissues. Okay. I guess that guy's done. Ooh. Can I go through this door now? I like how the door looks like something looks when it's just missing textures. That's always fun. Um. Okay. Well, I mean... Doesn't... Can I get through the door? What am I doing? No? Do I have to turn back? Hmm. I'm not finding a way I can get through this door, so maybe I just have to turn back. Or... No? No, nothing. Okay. Huh, I'm not sure where to go now. Let's try heading backwards and see. Okay, we're back here. Maybe we have to talk to some of these people again? Will they say anything different? I miss my family, and I'm pretty sure that my family thinks the same too. Ever since when I got to this place, I've been always pondering about how did I get here and how can I get back home. Do you remember anything? I'm afraid that I do not remember anything about how I have I, re I reached this place at all. All I can remember is that the weather was very snowy than usual that day, just like how it is right now. I was commuting to my workplace to work on another translating job for my boss, and while I was walking along the road, I noticed a patch of snow. That particular patch of snow was very strange looking, I say. I cannot precisely describe how it looked, but it looked like it did not belong to this world. It felt very otherworldly, like how this place is, but that's all I can remember for now. Hmm. Okay. Try going back this way? Maybe I should try going outside again. I don't know. I, I still feel like I should do something with that door, but I couldn't figure out if there was a way I could get to it. Let's try going out back outside for now. Uh... Oh, maybe it won't let me. There's no door here. Oh, no, it'll let me. Oh, there's another door over here. Was this here before? Is this new? This might be new. Would you like to leave? Um, uh, maybe not. Let's try talking to some more people again. Just run through real quick, see if anything changes. Oh, no, okay. Look, now I can talk to people. Hey, is there anything I can help you? I have been living in this place for a while, even longer than the others staying here have. If you got any questions, then it might be the best afternoon to ask me, I suppose. 
Uh, why are you staying in this building? Yes, after the incident has happened, me and my family has been searching for any safe place to stay. Eventually, we stumbled upon this building in the middle of nowhere, and this was the best place we could find out there. A relatively big place with relatively good condition and plenty of supplies that we could use. I was and still quite surprised that there was a building this normal with plenty of supplies in the middle of nowhere, frankly. So yeah, that's why we've decided to stay here. Okay. The gathering, I need more context. Ah, uh, you certainly won't believe this, but since the incident, something definitely very weird has been happening. For the first few weeks after we arrived here, nothing special has happened. Just me and my family searching for anything useful and moving them out to somewhere safe and easily accessible. But weeks later, we heard some noises, so we went on to check what's up with these noises. Surprisingly, when we got to the source of the noise, there's somebody else that we hadn't seen before. We were very confused because he definitely has double-checked the whole building and couldn't even find a trace of other people before. After that, even more people have gathered in this building with one common thing happening. We could hear a peculiar noise before them suddenly appearing out of nowhere or disappearing for seemingly no reasons. We don't know why and how this weird noise things are happening, so we even asked those newcomers about the noise and how did they got here, And even, but even they doesn't seem to know about the noise and how did they got in. So our family decided to make this into a shelter that can help these peoples that has been gathered here since we've got no other choices but to live here and still got a plenty of supplies to help them. Okay, I, I don't think English was the first language of the person who made this game, so it's a little difficult to read sometimes. Um, okay, she's saying the same thing. Let's try this person. They're standing still and oscillating proudly, making a strange sound similar to that of a microwave in the middle of an operation, okay? They don't seem to be responding to anything, even if you softly slap them with your femur bones. I can slap people with my femur bones? Uh, what a beautiful snowy day. Weather's well, like this makes me feel something I cannot remember anymore. Okay. Let's see. Let's check this room one more time, and then we'll... Start checking the other rooms again. Um, hear the goofy noises again. Let's just do anything. I'm, I'm trying to like hit interact where I hear the noise most. See if that's any something or other. I, nothing seems to be happening though. So, we'll retrace our steps. We've talked to all these people again. Let's just talk to this guy one more time, see if there's anything different. No. Okay, let's go check here again. Hmm. Fun little music, but doesn't appear to be anything happening. Um, okay. I don't know that there's anything else I can figure out. Let's see. We'll check the other area one last time. Unless these are changing, which I don't think they are. It doesn't look like it. Although, did the color just change? Blue, blue. No, it's red. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Check this area again. viewpoint, vantage point even. Um, check this area again. Desks. Got the log. Um, okay. Can I read this? that newish oh is this open now 
Maybe I did just have to go back and talk to people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're moving into the no, uh, no texture zone. Oh, I'm outside again? Now it's sideways. Look at this. I love how I'm still happily skipping along. -la 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 -la. So this is like the back side of the building as opposed to the other way. Um, it's gotta be because this one's forcing me into a, a, like a side scroller perspective. Okay. What's this? Parappa the Rap is back. What's up, buddy? Um, great job, Catalyst. You have outperformed and complied with superiority in contrast to that of the other Catalyst. For that, you are the suitable one for our further works. What did I do? You have well performed the act of catalysis and completed the incomplete metamorphosis. Now their existence in higher dimensions of existence has begun thanks to you. Thus the work here is completed, but now we must move on and enhance the other's existence. Great job. Okay, what happened to you? At first I was merely an individual pile of organic matter that has been working to seek its own good, but now we have a power and the clear vision of enhancing all the forms in this world. We are the key to the new era, so they're going to turn us all into Parappa the Rappas? Cool. Let's, uh, let's open up the era of Parappa. Significantly positive response. Let us begin to spread the work. All the forms in this world should be equally enhanced. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's mess everybody up. Come on. We're going to make them all realistically rendered like crazy. Come on. Let's see what we got. Oh, we're evolving. Uh, or we're just blasting off. This concludes today's story of our little friend, The End. Thanks for playing a short interactive entertainmental program made by Zick with Love and Flesh for Haunted PS1 Madman Calendar 2020. Special thanks to Ryan Rock for composing some rad tunes for the game. I hope you enjoyed playing this, otherwise I will default myself to a single yellow colored one by one Lego work. Anywho, see you next game. Peace off. Well, that one was certainly entertaining. Um, I, it was different. It was a trip. I will say that. It was definitely a trip. I'm glad I was able to see it through all the way to the end. That definitely the longest one I've played in the Madvent calendar so far. And um, the, the, the most narrative. Uh, well, no, not the most narrative one, actually. There's, there's at the very least, that uh, play one. But still, I enjoyed this one. It was weird. Very strange. Very, um, kind of like a, an original Matrix vibe to it. I enjoyed it. So, as always, um, you can download this collection. The link will be in the description. You can unlock and play these games yourselves that everyone has created throughout the month of December. Thank you.